What is the family legend you're going to share with me today? Family legend is, I guess you could say, a witch's tale. Um, when did it take place? Uh, the mid 1800s is a, is about the best thing I can gather from the story. Can you tell us about the legend? Um, it's kind of took place in the deep south of Alabama, um, and instead of hearing me tell it, I've got actually have a recording of my father um, asking my grandmother Alice Roy. Um, about this story. Uh, he was very interested in family history and so he wanted to have this this family legend on tape and so I actually have it on tape and it's my grandmother, so Seth's gr great-grandmother talking to my dad, Seth's grandfather, and my brother, Seth's uncle. This is the narrator of the story, Seth's great-grandmother, Alice Roy. She died in 2012 at the age of 94 and I'm gonna let her tell the story. You know, you never did tell me the story about the old witch down there. Yeah, tell. Oh, uh, let me tell him. Tell Wesley the story about the witch down there. My old grandma that lived down Mervine used to be back in them days. There used to be witches back in them days. And uh, there's an old witch lived back in there in the woods back of my grandma Mervine them's house, old lady Mervine. And uh, she, uh, this old witch could turn herself into a reindeer. She could turn her turn people into horses. So one night she turned my grandpa Mervine into a horse and rode him to a witch's dance one night. And the old ship was burned on one end. And he remembered that. He didn't forget it. He knowed about going and her staking him out and there was a witch's dance. Then one time they found her house over there, a little log house in the woods. And uh, she dressed up and went off one evening and when she come back, she had a skin hanging up in the house on, on some railing, really, up from the top of the house. And she wanted to change over into a cat. She changed herself out of this woman and she put on this cat. Trying to get in this cat, she'd say, skin. And what had happened, my granddaddy and some men had went there, my great-great-granddaddy, and had put her some pepper down in her skin. She'd jump in this skin, she'd jump out. And she would say, skin, skin, don't you know me? Skin, skin, don't you know me? <laughs> and uh, it was hot and she couldn't get in it. And she'd jump in that old skin and jump out. So then one day she got mad at my granddaddy then. And she went up there and changed herself into a deer. And she got her own side of his house and pranced up and down his side of his house. So he said, let her come back tomorrow. I'm going to get her. I'm going to heat me. A they told him if he'd mail him some lead and make him a bullet and shoot her, she'd die. But not to give her nothing to mend it. Don't give her anything to mend this hole. If you give her a rag, she'd get well. So she come up there prancing around one morning. He had his lead bullet made, so he shot her right through there. And that was in her left shoulder. And she pranced all up and down out there. And the next day, two or three days, she come over there hopping and hurting. And my grandma, great, great grandma, said, why are you doing that? She said, oh, my shoulder's hurt. She said, I want to borrow your rag. She said, I ain't got one for you. So finally she gave her one and the old witch got well. But she jumped in that little, uh, little box. skin and she yeah. jumped out and hollered, skin, skin, don't you know me? She was a witch. Back in them days, it was witches. And that's back in the 18th century, way back in 18 and 1840, 1830. There was witches back I, in the day. I see witches on Scooby Doo. You do? Yeah. And there was a.